beautiful. Oh my gosh, baby. Yeah. Can you get my bags for me? I gotta take a Come on, baby. Good. Good. Oh, it's a long ass drive. Watch it, baby. Hey, girl. How's your drive? So what do you guys think, huh? I know it's not the most Instagram-worthy place, but uh, my brother didn't have any bookings. It's beautiful. I like it. It's perfect. It's the woods. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ah! You don't want wanted to come. I you don't want to be I one know. with nature, like you said. Oh, dang! I wasn't ready. Genuinely had me hiding um, behind my hands at some points. I think the music enhanced the terror and the thrill of the film. Um, the dialogue was filled with some wit and banter, adding a light, lighter note throughout the film. And the characters felt extremely individual um, to me from the beginning of the film. We're kind of thrust into this really intense scene. And I think that prompts us to be kind of on the edge of the film um, or on the edge for the rest of the film and trying to figure out kind of like when that happened, why it happened. And um, I think we're unsure if it's just going to be this like typical horror film set in the woods. Um, but then we start getting some hints that it might be like an attempted murder mystery. And so I think this film is um, layered and it builds upon itself. And in the beginning, it also feels like the horror could also just be like the faux pas and um, the way that the characters treat one another and the anxieties that they kind of embody. Um, but then it really, really does turn into the horror of what we can do to one another, especially in the name of some strong emotions like love. We have the isolated location, the heroine with the troubled past, the friend group slash suspect list, and all of these elements are really well utilized here in an effective way that will be entertaining for any horror fan, I'm sure. Um, particularly the twist is really well applied and um, raises the stakes for the protagonist considerably, um, making this an even more personal story than we initially thought from the get-go. Uh, always great to see a story where the dog lives as well. We love that. Spoiler. And overall, I just think this is a great entry as both a horror film and as a suspect thriller. Introducing that action early on it was such a great idea when we have a slow burn for the climax of this film um so we can keep going back to that in anticipation um i love the psychological aspect of this film as well um especially within the friend group we have so much tension there and they begin to turn against each other which you know you don't know exactly who the bad guy is going to be there is the red herring of the brother in this film but having him be suspicious right off the bat had me suspicious as to whether or not he was the real um, stranger in the woods bad guy. And so I thought that worked really well. Um, I also thought that the setup and payoff in this film with, um, you know, seeing the trap early on in the film and then having Liv use that to her advantage in the climax uh, was such a great choice and it worked out very well. The writing is awesome as it checks so many boxes as a classic horror, with a group of friends going away for a weekend at a remote cottage. Some love triangles and a long time backstory really added to it. The cottage setting was just perfect for this piece, and I love the set decoration, especially the creepy brother's place next door. So many animals, artifacts, and cottage kitsch. The performances of the cast members were so convincing. I particularly love the comic relief of the couple in love and the creepy brother. And Liv and Sam have some excellent scenes together. Lots of good classic jump scares and falls in the woods and an awesome suspenseful soundtrack. They did some fantastic cinematography in the bathtub and the underwater photography and kind of what was going on and having that moment. It really kind of drops you on this moving train that's going supersonic speed. And I loved that about this. I think that the filmmakers had some great cinematography and they also had a great story. Coda was adorable, absolutely adorable. I think with the dog, the filmmakers were so smart where they didn't show the dog being hurt on camera, where they just kind of had the dog disappear it was very, very smart, very clever, because it kept you rooted in the story of what was going on with the humans. Um, I loved the twist. 
I thought that there was a great twist at the end uh, for the kind of who done it and who is really the villain of this piece. The stuff with everybody and the brother where they were all inside and they were like sitting on the couch and he was cooking dinner. Very funny. <laughs> Very funny. It is a weird, creepy character that you see from the beginning and it's just this mysterious suicide scene. This resentment, jealousy, years of trauma. They have this great storytelling and awesome special effects. The psychological tricks, confusion, blur memories. We explore the stalking to the extreme, obsessive and manipulative to, to the extreme to try to identify what's going on. This group of friends seem to be um, innocent enough, <laughs> but it's just the outstanding performances and this fighting scene was so well shot. Great ending as well.